Hi, today I would like to talk about the Minimax decision rule algorithm and it is used in a lot of AI and game theories. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you can do is if you are interested is go to the Wikipedia and search for Minimax. That's where I am. And if you step down, you will see the Minimax algorithm pseudocode in there. So we want to do this in the JavaScript. So I'll show you how to do that. And they do have an example here. Uh, with a tree so I would use this as a basis so let's just get started so I have the JavaScript uh, algorithm coded right now here and I can uh, show you what the algorithm uh, looks like and uh, the algorithm is going to be over here so let me just first explain to you a little bit of the algorithm the way the algorithm works is that uh, in this particular example, the parent node is whoever is trying to maximize the value if you are playing against some other opponent. So this particular node is trying to maximize its value. Then the opponent is obviously trying to maximize his own value or minimizing the value of this opponent. And then you go to the second level is the other way around where he is again trying to maximize his value. At the leaf node, usually what you do is based on some heuristics, you assign certain values as to how good that particular move or position is. So in this case, for example, this was max, min, max. Uh, this move would much be, uh, like 10 would be much better than this. So if you look at the Wikipedia example here, and this is where I put in the values, so you can kind of see how this works. So usually the values or the heuristics are given at the leaf node or the number of moves you want to look ahead and uh, that is not really part of the decision algorithm so you give those values and when you go up one level what you want to do is uh, if this was a maximizing node uh, in this case the maximizing nodes are shown by a circle so this would be like a maximizing node uh, what it is going to do is it's going to look at its children and maximize the value or try to take a decision based on this between 10 and 5 is 10 here is just one node so it's minus 10 here you have 5 5 and minus infinity is 5 and here is just minus 7 and then you go to the next level where you're trying to minimize so you take the minimum value of 10 and minus 10 which would be minus 10 5 and minus 7 is minus 7 and here it is the maximum so between this and this minus 7 is the correct answer so the way the algorithm is going to work let me just uh, demonstrate it quickly here is uh, the function minimax it takes the node whichever node you want to give it and usually uh, you would start with the root node or wherever you want to start and this is the depth of the tree and then you want to indicate whether it's a maximizing player position or not and the reason you specify the max player in the depth and the node is because this is a recursive algorithm so uh, typically in our case where you had the depth is just uh, two uh, you would want to start with uh, giving the node uh, structure and I'll show you how this node structure is set up but at least I have set it up but the depth here is 2 and then you are going to be a maximizing player because if you look at my chart it's just 0, 1 and 2 2 is the depth of this tree just to make it simple for you to understand obviously you could go much better so the way the algorithm works is if depth is equal to 0 uh, or whenever the depth reaches zero because it's going to be recursively called that means you're usually in the leaf node and we are checking that the node does not have any children which is basically means the leaf node so at the leaf node we are returning something called node the value whatever the value is the heuristic value that is stored so in a case example if it reaches here the heuristic value that would be returned is 10 here it's minus 10 and so on okay so that's pretty much what the depth is so if you are not on the depth and if you're a maximizing player which would be equal to essentially max player is true so here's the case for max player is true we initially start with giving it the worst case position or worst case value so here is we are saying number dot negative infinity and then what you do is for all the childs in node dot children all the node children you run the mini max algorithm recursively you give each node here, node is given here, and this is essentially saying node dot children and child. Child is going to be 0, 1, 2 based on whatever index the children is here. 
and you decrease the depth because you're calling it down recursively and then the next uh, at the next level it basically switches from a maximizing player to minimizing player so you change it to false so whatever value you get if, since it's a maximizing player you're going to be choosing best value is equal to math dot max v comma best value so whatever v was the uh, return from the minimax algorithm and the best value we choose that and return that minimizing player is obviously similar but it's the other way around the best value is obviously positive infinity it's too large and here you're choosing the minimum value when and you do the v min max similarly and you return the best value so i start this algorithm whenever i click on this uh, button start minimax and that's where it starts this thing and console.log data is where it returns the value of this algorithm. So let me just run this algorithm just for you for a second so you can kind of see what it does. So if I click on start minimax, it's going to return a value of minus 7. And the reason it's doing it is obvious because between all of these, is uh, as I had shown, I have added one more node here just to kind of give you an idea. But the values for the next level are 10, minus 10, 5, minus 7 then minus 10, minus 7, and then minus 7 back again, and which is the final value. So this is uh, how this algorithm works, and it's working good. And if you're just wondering how I created this tree and everything else, uh, I used a library called treeend.js, and I'll put in a link to this, and you can also search for it in Google. If you go to my website, I'll put in the link, and if you search for JavaScript, uh, and go to the very bottom. I'll put in a link to wherever I'm using this library, so you should be okay. And let me show you how to use this library to draw basically uh, simple trees. So it's very straightforward. What you do is uh, give it some JSON, and let me just start at a high level so it's more clear. You start with simple chart config. Here's an object. It has a chart. It's a container, and you put in a node structure. Node structure is very straightforward. You have a text name and then you put in a parent node and then you say children is child one and child two because parent node was the name and we have child one and child two and if you look at child one and child two it's pretty straightforward text name is child one the name is child two and then children are three four and seven and just to look at one child for example child seven i put in the name as three and value is three. See, these are the leaf nodes and I'm giving it a heuristic values. And I put in the name as three so you can kind of visually see which one is that. So that's pretty much how you would create these nodes. In terms of HTML, it's pretty straightforward. I just had uh, the button over here where I call the minimax algorithm. And uh, in the script, what you want to do is create an object of type triant and give it this array simple chart config and uh, simple chart config uh, was basically just this array and once you have set up the structure that's what it is going to do and uh, to use it is pretty straightforward i basically said minimax simple chart config dot node structure and node structure gets me to this uh, uh, node structure which is basically repeated all over and i can use the minimax algorithm with this so hopefully you have enjoyed this short video and uh, if you want to learn more, uh, feel free to go to my website. Thank you very much for watching this short.